Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Thursday, June 21st, solstice at 11.02 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Shin Modake exploding today, VEI 3, potentially. Maybe two, definitely two. There are other VEI 2s going off today. We're going to get to it. It's been a big day. Kilauea breaking the 5.3 threshold to 5.4 with the massive caldera collapse, enlarging that gigantic hole in the big island of Hawaii to several square miles. And we have Shinmodake exploding in impressive fashion. I want to take you back to the beginning of this because you missed it. And look at the sonic boom at the beginning of this explosion. Take a look. Wait for it. Boom! And there it comes out. <laughs> Is that amazing? Let's do it again. First you see the puff, then the boom. There! Oh! You would have been decimated had you been anywhere near that volcano. I want you to replay this again and again and again. It is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Grand solar minimum much. Volcanoes erupting are not new. As we descend into the grand solar minimum, instead of 30 volcanoes erupting continuously, we're gonna go up to 40. And what we're gonna have is large injections of more VEI twos and fours that are going to add to the effect of the albedo, cloud nucleation, and cooling of the planet. Thank you, Shinmodake. We'll get back to it. Let's get on with the update. Lots to talk about. Parts of southern Texas receive record-breaking June rainfall. Worst flooding since Hurricane Harvey. Totally fluxed. Cosmic rays, as predicted. A slow-moving, low-pressure area drop. Record-breaking June rainfall on parts of southern Texas this week, causing the worst flooding in this region since Hurricane Harvey. This has nothing to do with the hurricane. Just a rainstorm. <laughs> and that's today's first cosmic ray. Boom. Guys, cloud nucleation will lead to more and more bigger and bigger events. It will be so redundant that the weather forecasters every single day are going to say, record, that record, that record, that record, that record. It will be a broken record. Heads up. <laughs> Yes, it's true. Texas is no stranger to this type of severe weather, and our emergency personnel are ready and well-prepared to respond. I doubt it. In the near term, these small events, yeah. But when it gets big uh, and when it gets continuous and global, we'll be seeing what happens. Hail ravages Colorado crops for the second time in two days. These people are totally prepared to tell you what's going on, and they're very blurry. Hail ravaging Colorado crops. Smashing windows and keeping people blurry. Yes, that means nothing to us. Boulder County, Colorado, there's no denying Tuesday's hailstorms were scary. Farmer Corey Bateman has moved on to greener pastures, so to speak. He's cultivating a field of corn that's still standing, thankfully. Much different than his fields a few miles away where his corn is decimated. A nice, beautiful crop just down to nothing in a matter of minutes, Bateman said. And that will be happening continuously. Major snowfall in Prince George's County, increasingly likely. They're predicting increased snowfall in Washington, D.C. on the summer solstice. That's so that you don't remember Prince George's County, Maryland. Heads up, Ice Age 2050. It's coming your way. This is thanks to an El Nino effect. And if you want to know about it, Email me. I'll tell you all about it. And we're trying to keep this short. We need to get more listeners. People are complaining about the length. UK weather, Brits to see the hottest June in 42 years, as predicted in the Grand Solar Minimum, because it just snowed on the summer solstice. This is what they don't talk about in the article at all. They talk about a heat wave despite snow on the summer solstice. It is a complete obfuscation from truth. People should have been smacked. They probably got... Uh, taken into the back room and said, do not talk about the snow. Put lots of hot temperatures and then mention the snow in one sentence. Snow, minus 12 wind chill, surprised people today and hikers in the longest day of the year. It was just minus 12 C on the first day of summer. And we'll just mention it at the bottom of the article in a sentence. <laughs> Fraud! That's called nonsense. Snow expected to fall to low levels. Now, it is winter in the southern hemisphere, but we're talking when snow starts reaching the ocean. 
Hello. Met Service is warning of a heavy dumping of snow across parts of Otago and Southland on Monday and Tuesday. They're forecasting this out four days out. So they could be really wrong, and this could be a pummeling. This Sunday, a front is expected to move east and west to the South Island, and they're expecting global warming, but you're going to get Grand Solar Minimum pummeling. Heads up. We'll report on it in four days. As BC bakes, here's another nonsense article. As British Columbia bakes, it snowed 30 centimeters in British Columbia. Do you see what I'm... Are you picking up what I'm putting down? It's burning up in British Columbia as it snows 30 centimeters. That's a fact, and that's a headline. <laughs> I'm glad I could translate it for you. Coal wave hits Peru, claiming lives of over 600 people. I, I don't have to change that one. According to Chile's Ministry of Health, 604 people have died of pneumonia by June 20th due to low temperatures. Not global warming, Al. The number includes 400 older adults, 72 children under the age of five. And they're not even at a border crossing. Heads up. Yes. <laughs> we hate politicians. Destructive flooding hits capital, the capital, Accra, in Ghana, leaving three dead and four missing. Totally flux there. Heavy rain hits the capital of Accra, Ghana, June 18, 2018, causing destructive floods across the city, leaving at least three people dead and four missing. The floods caused chaos across the capital and left many people trapped in their homes and vehicles. Local media report numerous destroyed homes in the greater Accra region under one meter of water. Yes, check out the cars. It's true, at least three people have been killed, including a young doctor whose car was swept away as she tried to drive through the flooded area of the Nau Lagoon in Rasta, a suburb of Teshi in the Lazunkuku Karu municipality. Reports say the flood current was so heavy, it toppled the car over the broken bridge into the lagoon where she was carried away. Whew. There she lies. Send a prayer up to the doctor. Here's the 5.4 volcanic eruption, which is actually probably a landslide. We'll get to it. We're going to be viewing it in just minutes. Stick with us. We've broken the threshold with a 6.1 popping off in 33 kilometers west-southwest of the port of Vila Vanuatu, which is near the island. So maybe there is some damage. I don't see any reports. I looked on the wire. It may be coming in tomorrow. This is followed by uh, – this is – the precursor was a 5.4 – uh, volcanic eruption at Kilauea, which is actually a massive enlargement of the caldera. We'll get to it. Let's talk about some new volcanic updates. Moderate strong eruption in the force of a VEI-2 exploding today at Talica Volcano in Nicaragua. This baby is a freshie. We're going to be getting some good footage in a second. A moderately strong explosion took place in Nicaragua, Talica Volcano 1308 UTC. Yes, June 21st, 2018, the last eruptive phase was September 23rd, 2015. The volcano is now emitting gases, but they do not represent a danger for the population, thankfully. The agency said that new explosions are likely to occur. Ashfall was reported in the communities of Los Mangales, Las Marias, Pozo Viejo, El Povenier, and Monte de los Olivos. This activity presents the normal activity of an active volcano such as Talica. And at the moment, this type of activity does not present danger to the population, simply because people don't live near here, <laughs> as they shouldn't. Good job not living near this volcano. There is some footage, and we'll look at it. It's real shaky. Let's bring it in. I'll let it run through. That's a boom. Let's look, what do we know about the volcano? We know that El, El Comonacita has it on uh, up here on Twitter. So I'll leave you links to all this. You can go peruse it with your friends. According to the Smithsonian, Talica, Nicaragua is a stratovolcano. This is one we have to worry about, which will cool the earth. It is very typically erupting at VEI-2. It has erupted historically at VEI-4 back in the Mondo Minimum. 15, 29... Now, VEI-4, look at how fresh it is. Do you see this lower plateau? That is as big as the Caldera Blue and VEI-4 back in the Maunder. This, all this new up uh, growth is uh, in the last 400 years. 
And so this baby, my prediction will is set to blow at VEI three anytime in the next two decades. But it is back large and in charge two years after it went quiet. If you want to know more about this volcano, come look here at the links I have down below where it says show more. Worldwide Volcano News Update, Kilauea, Sinabong, Kirishima. Now, Kirishima is Shinmodake. Kirishima in the Kyushu Prefecture of Japan is a complex of volcano calderas and cones and stratocones. Multiple volcanoes in the Kirishima complex. Very dangerous area. We're going to be watching this closely. The whole top could blow at VEI-8 and there will be no more Krakatoas there, so to speak. Cinnabunk today, ground report of volcanic ash. Kirishima exploded. We showed you that on the at the beginning of the video. We have Kilauea likely rockfall at 2313. We also have Fuego, Ibu, Dukono, Reventador, Sakurajima, Sabankaya, Aoba, and we just showed you the last volcanic eruption. VEI2 coming off today. Let's go to Kilauea, and I'll show you the rockfall live as it was recorded by Volcano YT, care of the USGS. And we're going to slowly go see that there is a huge uptick four minutes prior to the major rockfall. And then we have intensification moving up to 10 here, which is the actual rockfall happening. Uh, and it's the parking lot edge and the parking lot may not exist in fact the camera is about to fall into the caldera they may have to go up there and move it back but heads up kids no one's going up there so what they what will happen is this camera will fall into the caldera eventually that's the first person that's about to predict that and i just did so give it a couple three weeks and this camera's gone and they'll have to put a new one up there so the rockfall is happening now look at the long duration intensity 10 which is coming off at 5.4, according to the USGS, at the caldera. Massive rockfall. We're going to be waiting for the flyby footage when this clears out. It is clear now, and we'll probably get drone footage in 48 hours after they get to look at it, and we sit and wait. Because if they know anything, they don't want to tell you if it's going to affect you. Let's just move on and get done. Rising ground under West Antarctica could prevent ice sheet collapse. Well, so could the grand solar minimum and the freezing temperatures that are descending upon the planet. How about that, kids? <laughs> People bought $38 hot dog water. Over $1,600 worth of this fraud was sold at an event to prove a point. And the point is that... The way they promoted this was that it, on their little sign at the event, they said that leading scientists all agree that hot dog water will help you lose weight. And schmucks bought it. Can you believe it? I can. It's called the global warming ruse. Now, I hate Ted Cruz as well as every other king politician ever created, including our president and every other president before him. I hate the Democrats. I hate the Republicans. Because they're the machine. I love every Libertarian and Green Party candidate because they are humans. The machine is a fraud. It is 100% corrupt. If you do not know that now, please unsubscribe and stop watching this channel. Ted Cruz is a farce. He is a, basically has an IQ of a frog. He, has, he knows nothing about climate change. His position is solely based on the fact that he's an ass tart and he's an extremist. Now, if we actually had a smart scientist like me in there, I would actually tell them the facts. He doesn't know anything about the facts, but thankfully he's on our side. And this D-bag says that climate change education is propaganda, which is true, but he has no idea why, because he doesn't know the science. He barely knows his own butthole. <laughs> as well as every other politician. They're all frauds. If you support them, you're a fraud. Please wake up. Cocaine in the water is hurting river eels. That's what politicians allow. There is so much cocaine in the waters in this country that fish are dying. <laughs> Why would you support this corrupt empire? It's going to end, and you should opt out now. Start preparing. 
Guys, we had a great conversation with Leo, Lee Wheelbarger. If you don't know what to do to start preparing to survive and thrive in the future, that's coming soon. You do not have much time. You might have three years. And if you want to know what we told, tell you and all the questions to your answers, we're going down. The temperature on the globe has dropped over 0.6 degrees C in two years. It hasn't happened since the 80s. And based on all predictions, this is going to continue for decades. About to put up the uh, Revolution Radio Show with Lee Wheelbarger. Check it out. And that's a heads up. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. It's getting cold. I'm reporting on it. If you don't believe it, unsubscribe. It's also getting hot. It's also getting droughty. It's also getting haley. And you better buy a helmet. Be safe.